Stop licking the bench. You're weird. What's up guys? I'm Nick with MarTech Engineering and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be building our fabricated trailing arms. These are part of our kit and they're also available for sale separately on our website. We have them in two different lengths. One of the lengths is 39 and a half inches. The other length is 42 and a half inches. We do have a little bit of wiggle room so if you're looking for something a little more custom to fit your application we can do that for you as well. But we've came up with these things to be just a little bit different than everything out there, just to put our own little touch on things as we do. So these are primarily made out of a tube construction, and the rest of it's all a bit of a plate structure to hold the shock and to also create kind of a skid design to help you get these things through the rocks without a bunch of hang up and drama. What do you want? You want attention? Don't fall off the table. So anyways, today we're gonna to be showing you how these go together why we like them the way we like them and by the end of this video you'll be able to see the finished product that hopefully look good if i'm on my game they'll come out pretty nice we start building these trailing arms from the inside out beginning with this little spine that we weld into our uniball cup the reason we add the spine in the middle is to give a little more grip to that uniball cup in case you hit something with the vehicle you do not want that cup ripping off the trailing arm after this we're going to bolt our main structure together here i am setting the shock mounting with along with the little filler plates that go in to box everything in once it's all welded up once that's bolted together we slide our main tube structure in there and tack everything together and now it's time to fit the uniball cup in there we make sure that the outside of the uniball cup is even with the outside of the plate structure on this thing followed by this quarter inch bottom plate that spans the length of most of the trailing arm. After that, we got these little pieces of tube that are cut. These are gonna be your pocket where your shock bolt goes through. And now we're gonna go ahead and weld up everything on here that's gonna be covered up by the next set of plates. So we're welding the tube to all the plate work. We're welding in those little pockets for the shock mount bolts, all the nitty gritty that's under there. Next up is putting the outer plates on. We're almost done with this thing. We're gonna put a couple tacks on here. We'll do the final alignment on this before it gets fully welded. For now, we're just making sure everything is happy, everything fits good. And here you can get one last look inside that thing before we cover it with the top plate that ties everything together. You can see everything keys together on this thing so that everything is going to line up exactly how you want it to. Coming up to the last part of this before we finally weld it, which is these little filler plates that box in where the bottom of the coilover goes into. Do you want to go home? Hmm? Anytime we have the welder out and we're building stuff in the shop, 
We're typically building a couple sets of motor mounts to send to powder as well. We came up with these things after we did our first one ton swap on a truck. We found out that we had a lot more drivetrain movement than we were looking for. We we're actually running into the issue of the mechanical fan on the motor running into the radiator, which is where these things came from. These things were on a polyurethane bushing as opposed to the stock rubber mount bushing, and these fit the second and third gen Tacomas with the four liter and the 3.5 liter V6. These things are available on our website, and if you hop on there through the link in our description of this video and enter the code YouTube, we'll have a little bit of savings for you guys as well. These are an upgrade that not only help your rock crawler, but also work great on your daily driver or your truck that you just do some mild off-roading in. Simply being able to reduce your motor bouncing as you're going down dirt roads is gonna take a lot of stress off your frame and prolong the life of your frame on your truck. And just like that, these bitches are all welded up. So now all we got to do is wrap them, stick them in a box, and ship these out. Hopefully FedEx doesn't lose these things too. Just like that, we're done. It's time to go home. Let's go, dogs. Got my Creed shirt on. Got the Dodge back there. Did I tell you guys that I had a set of BFG all trains on that truck that made it 22,000 miles? And they're bald? Don't love that. But I do love Nittos, so stand by as we get some 37s for this thing. I want to thank you guys for watching. I know I kind of do a bit of random stuff, you know, with the trailing arms. I did a pit bike video a couple months ago that tanked. Uh, we're still just shooting our shots, seeing what works, what doesn't work, what people like, what they don't like. So if you like today's video, let me know in the comments. If you didn't like today's video, especially let me know in the comments. I always say it, but seriously, talk some shit. Come on. Uh, you guys are being too nice to me. So make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, all the good stuff. We'll catch you on the next one.